Bonjour ni hao and welcome to the Game Voice channel. I'm Johnny and today I am here with a Harry Potter Ferrara box unboxing. This is my very first Ferrara box. Uh, Tim has been getting Ferrara boxes a couple of times and I think they've been Disney related, horror related, but if you want to check out those videos I will link them above and below. But this is my first Ferrara box. Tim actually forwarded this along to me because he found that there was a Harry Potter Ferrara box and something about me that you may or may not know is that I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Tim and I both have been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I have read all the books, seen all the movies. I love it. This box was $23.99 and then there was $6 shipping so it just came under $30 for this box. And I ordered this a while back. I think this got delivered in October. But Harry Potter is one of those things that a lot of people refer to it as a holiday movie uh, because they always say like, Happy Christmas Harry, Happy Christmas Ron. Happy Christmas Harry, Happy Christmas Ron. So let's just dig into this. And I will also link Ferrara Box uh, below as well. Uh, but this is a limited edition. Oh, I'm never getting one. I don't know how this works. This works, so when you open it, there is some paper. And then the first thing I see, I'm not gonna look at the pop, is this plush, Oh, It's Harry Potter in the sorting hat. What will you choose? Will you be Gryffindor? Aw, oh, that's so cute. Super cute plushie, Fi Funko. That's why, like it's one of those Funko plushes. Does anyone ever remember that like Harry Potter puppet thing where they're like Dumbledore? Dumbledore. Snape. Hermione. Savarus. Hermione. Dumbledore. Snape. That's what this reminds me of. Oh, and look the little cape on the back. This is adorable. Oh, this is cute. All right, let's just put that there. All right, the next thing I see. Oh, these are mystery figures. Oh, goodness. All right, there is, there are a few. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there are four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't think I've ever opened these before. These are Harry Potter nano mega metal figs. A nano metal fig. And on the back you can get all of these. A hundred percent die cast! <laughs> I love like when like they say it's metal and they put the grommet so you know it's tough. <laughs> so silly. All right. So out of all of these, uh, I would love, I guess any of them. Let's see what one of these look like. I don't even know. I don't. I've never seen these, so let's just open one. I can't even feel these. Oh wow, these are like metal. Here okay. is Lord Voldemort, and you know what's interesting about these, like in their shape and their side, they kind of remind me of my D&D &D, like minifigs that I have of like my characters. Oh that's so cool. So shiny. So there's Voldemort. Alright. Why not? Let, there's four bags. What's the point of an unboxing if he doesn't just rip into things? Alright. The next one I see... No! Okay. I really don't care that much because like I'm probably not going to be finishing this entire series but like aw oh, duplicates. Boo. Alright. So I guess, I don't, you know what, I'm not even going to ask for anything, let's, oh, ooh, oh, there, here is Victor Crumb looking regal in his red, uh, and this fur, he's so handsome, Victor Crumb, alright, uh, then I guess if I have Victor and Voldemort, I guess the only one would be Cedric Diggory or Harry Potter. It's an Albus Dumbledore. These are like totally D and D figures. So totally a tangent. Uh, I was talking about D and D in another video, and I have a character named Lemmy who is a ranger. But this is my primary character in D and D, D, D. This is Vera, and she's a changeling bard, if you care. So you see what I mean when I say these Harry Potter figures remind me of like D and D figures. They're just metal and shinier versus like these from like Hero Forge. But look, there she is, and she sings. My favorite thing about Miss Vera is that she has red Louboutin heels and gold, just like her. <laughs> but yeah, these remind me of D&D figures, so I might, like, bring these to a D&D &D game to use as, like, pieces. <laughs> so silly. Alright, the next item in this box, there's three more items, uh, is, oh, it's a Ron Weasley keychain! 
and look at Ron. And I think this is his Yule Ball look. Let, I'm not sure. Let's take this out and get a closer opinion. Oh yeah. There he is. You can see Ron Weasley in his like, I think Yule Ball. Comment below on what outfit this is. I'm not sure. I think it's his Yule Ball. All right, the next item I see is a, another Ron Weasley figure, and this is one of the five stars. So here's Ron, and this opens up. How does it open? Oh, it's Velcro. Oh, oh, oh. That's cute. Inside, he, Ron has a Scabbers, he has a little rat, and he has a chocolate frog, and he has his little wand. These are cute. I don't think I have any five-star Harry Potter figures. And then the next, I, oh, I, okay, I'm actually really into this pop. She's so pretty. Oh, so the next pop, or the final item in this box is this beautiful floor Delacour Funko Pop. And it's actually fitting that I got her as a pop and I got Victor as a metal figure because they are both uh, champions from the Goblet of Fire. And when you open this, a beautiful box. Oh, she's stunning. Look at her. Right there. And what I didn't notice is that, like, she has on, like, her, like, Yule look, which is, like, the snowy headpiece. That's pretty. And you, what's cool about this is that, like, I wasn't able to see that until I actually take her out of the box. Her little chignon. Kind of just, like, a loose... Fun like chignon on this. Do yeah. you know what a chignon is? No. Okay, great. <laughs> it's a fancy word for bun. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, it isn't actually. John, you know the answer. A chignon is the process of folding the hair. There's <laughs> buns and then there's chignons. So that is my, the end of the Ferrera box. I think my favorite item would have to be either be this adorable plush because, I mean, look at how cute these glasses are. They're like plastic. Or this pop. Uh, real talk, would I probably have bought these specific items or, uh, like this five star myself? No, probably. But do I hate it? No. I mean, I like Harry Potter and certainly I have a lot of people and friends that do love Harry Potter that I can re-gift some of these little things to as stocking stuffers. Um, it's, you know, Forever Box is such, it's not customized, it was just Harry Potter in general. So I'm not surprised that there are some stuff like these like metal figures that I probably wouldn't buy. But like, like I said, for me and d and I think these are cute and actually work. So I uh, am happy with this box overall. And definitely for the box costing $23.99, I don't include shipping because you pay shipping regardless. I think for $24, this was solid. I am happy and I feel like I got $24 worth of things and $24 worth of an experience with you because really half of the unboxing experience of not knowing what you're buying is the kind of rolling of the dice and gamble and I personally love that element of subscription boxes and getting to see what's out there getting to see different types of merchandise that I might not normally find because truthfully I probably would have glossed over these um, figures before but now that I have one like it's I'm like into it. Uh, so it's it's Christmas. It's it's a time for silliness and for joy. And certainly this brief unboxing brought me a bit of joy this morning under the Christmas tree. And I hope it did to all of you. So thank you so much for watching. If you had a good time, please take a moment to give this video a like. And we can't wait until tomorrow to see you in our next Vlogmas video. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Take care and be well. Bye.